This is an emergency, I beg an urgent This is a serious case I kind of think that Toph, that the, the Egyptian god Toph, I, I always thought when, as a kid, and this is just me talking now, I always thought as a kid that his caduceus rods, the caduceus itself, was a version of the unk that he carried around in a rod. I always thought that. Also, the guy that the Oscar statue is mimicking of, I forget his name. Again, I don't study comedic science, but I forget his name. I've seen it somewhere where they relate to both of them. I think his rod was a version of it as well. I think all these Egyptian deities carried that with them everywhere they went in some form. Ta, pata, uh, ta. I think that's what all of them carried around. And that's why they was able to heal. That's why they was able to tap in a little bit better. Could you imagine putting that thing on the center of your head, tying it down with a sheet or a scarf and going into a meditative trance, singing and, and meditating with that thing, just regulating the energy from your mind and your body and that, uh, open that thing up, get all up in your ass. When they, ah! I'm telling you, man, people, it's time. They showing us how to counter every illness and every sickness. We have been so Christianized that we dismiss it as myth and lore and, and, and don't think, don't think about the truth. Don't think about what these ancient people was doing and they was healing each other, performing miracles. They said the ant when they they say when that uh, so called antichrist cat come back, he gonna be performing miracles, but he ain't gonna be the real deal, huh? Who's to say he ain't gonna be the real deal? He gonna just mimic what he did, just mimic what somebody else did, and if he had that unk anywhere visible on his ass, I'm gonna be looking at uh, yep, yeah, that's him. Same thing that'll prove my point. But they get y'all ass out of here yourselves. I'm on the hunt for mine. And when I make a couple, I'm going to make sure I pass this energy on. I'm going to make sure I give it to the people who need it the most. I'm going to make sure I try to heal as many people as I can with it. Hell, I may just become a millionaire, a billionaire, make a super duper giant one and drop it directly in the town center of Haiti. Bam, maybe that's what they telling me to do. Drop it directly in the center of Cuba. Boom, Brazil. Boom, Africa. Boom. And let the power of the collective heal every damn body. Everybody living to be 9,000 years old. We could see a real true Planet X revolution. I'm just talking y'all. I heard the story of this African brother who was an embodiment of a Christ-like being where they tried to kill him in several different ways. I heard the story, I forget his name, but it, it showed up on my TikTok thing and people talked about it. Now, I heard about this guy back in, excuse me, I heard about this guy back in 2010. But again, I thought, again, I was ignorant almost uh, a little bit. I thought it was just lore or just some folk, somebody trying to become a folk hero from Africa or something like that, you know. And I admit I did. I say, y'all, that's just some African jargon. They just trying to, you know, come out with old Jesus Christ type stuff. And, but as I kept reading and researching and I, and I, and I researched a little bit more and a part that I'm not hearing what a lot of people are talking about, uh, 
carried an avatar around that long. I don't know what I don't know what avatar it is. Uh, but what I was, but what people not talking about is how the story I heard, how he raised the army of small little alien gray things or green things to come and they tore down that particular military that was trying to destroy him. They say they cut out all his organs and he stood up on the table and say, could y'all put my heart and ass and lungs and shit back? Shot him up, came back to life. Sound like an Olmec to me. But what if he was an Olmec? Just something to think about. What if he was an Olmec who had an unk? Olmecs are hard to kill. Powder him, get him an unk. That way they have an extra healing factor. And then allow him to be sort of some form of wizard, psychic, uh, or alien space leader to conjure up multiple people or alien invasion to come back and wipe out the people who were fucking with him. Something to make you think. I would recommend people learn the story of that fellow because I'm finna dive a little deeper. They couldn't kill him. He had to literally voluntarily leave. Same thing as the, the story of the Christ God, he had to voluntarily leave. Same thing with Melchizedek. He had to voluntarily leave. A lot of entities came down here which they tried to destroy and they had to voluntarily leave. He was black, correct. He was black. Are we them who he said will come after? I, the story is on YouTube. Okay, I'm going to go watch it. He had green skin too. Hmm. Hmm. They always said a site. They thought Osiris was a robot. Osiris had the unk built in his body. If you look at comedic science and the comedic teaching, he was after he was put, I think, uh, I want to say after he was put back together because his body was chopped up, scattered up. That Damn, hell, now you look at it. That's the story right there. Body chopped up. They put him back together. Uh, Isis came to his wife, whoever that was at the time, put him back together. And everything, she controlled him with a puppet uh, hand behind it. They say showed how he was built with the with the arc, the arc and the arc reactor. So hell, I, I was on point again. Ding, 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 ding. It, it just take different books to bring your your understanding of a situation into into the glow form. We finna heal each other. We finna heal each other. Isn't it? A year law that Jesus said that ye are gods. Yup. He said it. Everybody, how y'all like this? I have a side that I need healing. Mental, physical, emotional. And once I've realized how to do this, how to create this thing, man, and I think this should be given out free. I don't think nobody should purchase a one. If you got the material to make it, just mail it off. Meet somebody at the at the grocery store. Meet somebody at the park. Heal. Use it for your whole family. I'm pretty sure one could do the whole family. You heal this one for 24 hours. You heal that one for 24 hours. One could be passed around to everybody. So I plan to give some away once I learn how to make it. It is what it is. That's just in my heart. Yes, the Baron be lit. <laughs> thank you, so, thank you, brother. Uh, so, listen again. I'm gonna sh ask you guys to share me. I thank you guys for already supporting me. Uh, I think I think I can do more. I think I can do more and be more and get the messages that Spirit is giving me out there. And I like how somebody say I give them the messages in a way they can understand. It's not all cryptic and shit. And I'm not gonna give it to you cryptic. If I don't understand it, I'm going to go back in that closet and get some understanding because you guys are listening to me and I have a responsibility to make sure I don't have you going out there digging up grass and shit. So got to do it right. <laughs> Everybody, I really appreciate you guys for listening to me. I thank you guys for patronizing me, believing in me. Uh, it's going to be earlier openings from October. I just had to take, I'm just going to take me a nice long week off to get my head together. That's all people, but depending on how spirit want to use me, I'll come back.
It's on your store and I got you. All right, everybody, please go back and watch this on your spare time. Get these jewels and informations. Get a pen and write it down. I know it came at you so fast. I'm going to edit this and break it up in the segments that I talked about to put them into more bite-sized pieces so you won't have to be on here for damn near two hours listening to get it. So it'll this will be on this will stay on the live, but I'm also gonna download it, break it down again, so and then upload each one of them, so that we can get it and y'all guys can share it with people if you think they need to hear it. And again, contact people of the comedic practices, the comedic science, comedic community, and and share uh, a, a portion of what I said and see am I on the right track because I don't study this. I'm going off of what they said and. If they know how to do it and if they can help me, I would love it. Or they could, yeah, show me what's, what to do. I, I would love it, okay? All right, everybody, I'm going to sign out. I'm the Baron, telling you guys to trust the you and universe. Because at the end of the day, you all you got. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you all. So try. Did I give you, did I give you something to think about? Did I drop some jewels to you? Did I give you some education? <laughs>